you can just see the door here is the door is actually opened in here guys wow look at this hi guys so we're both here myself and serenity sue in Montmartre cemetery and um, we're having a look around um, if you haven't checked her videos out check them out serenity sue on youtube we're both going around paris together vlogging so i'm just going to take you in here and we're going to have a look inside this one because i do have a flashlight um and check it out inside so this one here looks like um the carving above it here is a looks like a sword and a helmet so it's probably military related you can just see the door here is the door is actually opened in here guys wow look at this you can see um wow there's actually a book left here guys yeah, i've shown this online land 1769 to 1809 it's about napoleon so as i was saying there's a military connection in here And you can see more statues here and flowers and we have a French flag inside the vault. Now down here is another door and there's actually steps that go down inside. You can see it goes all the way down in there. And that, so that's where the people are buried down in the vault underneath yeah you can see the steps there that's mad isn't it crazy yeah so we're lucky the door was actually open so we're not disrespectful you can actually see some coffins can you yeah in the inside of the wall you won't have to put your phone in through. so i'm just gonna have to put my phone in here guys some way or another so there we go guys that's that one we had a look inside interesting military stuff in there books and, and french flag and everything Right, so when you come into the cemetery here in Montmartre, you pick up one of these. If they're available, there's only That's a few. That's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> there's only a few available, so you're lucky if you get one. So you can see the name on it there, Cemetery de Montmartre. And you have all divisions here. They're all numbered in different sections. So we're actually trying to find... We are looking for Adolf Sax, the man who invented the saxophone very important man i suppose in history wherever you see on television or you hear people playing a saxophone it was that man who started the whole thing off i think he actually played the clarinet and the violin as well So we'll go and have a look and see can we find his final rest of place and I'll get back to you guys. Right guys, so we've finally we found the final resting place here of Adolf Sax. And we can just see up there family sax. Some flowers on it. So we can kind of see inside there there's some more flowers inside in a little altar area so we can just see here at the side of his final resting place here Dolph Sachs 1814 and he passed away in 1894 the 7th of February and uh, there's something down the bottom there as well I'm sure it's about a hunt 100th anniversary um, and we can see of course the saxophone there on the side of it so he was a musician and he received, received recognition as a 19th century Belgian musician and a musical instrument designer best known for inventing the widely used saxophone in 1840, which was patented in 1846. 
He was born Joseph Antoine Joseph Sachs in Belgium in 1814. Um, his father was an instrument designer, making several changes to the design of French, the French horn. Um, so yeah, that's his final resting place. After leaving school, he began to experiment with new instrument designs and his father continued to produce conventional instruments to bring money into the household. Uh, the composer Hector Barrales wrote approvingly of the instrument in 1842, but the instrument was not painted until 1846. Sax continued to make instruments later in life, as well as presiding over a new saxophone class at the school. Adolf died in Paris on the 2nd of July 1894 and was interred here in Montmartre Cemetery. So there you go guys, that's the grave here. If anybody's coming here you can see Division 5 is his final resting place. So rest in peace to Mr. Sachs, very important man, given us the saxophone. Cat the Brass is the name on this one here. A huge question mark on it. Sebastian's 1978-1999. Frank, 1978-1999. Same year on it. Unusual looking gravestone. Wonder what that means. That is the question. Christel Bormann. 1926 to 2014, an unusual looking grave. Look at this scary looking face on it. Looks like a demon or something there because you can see there's horns on it and the ears. Strange. There's one here and there's no inscription on it. Like a little Buddha child at the bottom of it. A little, uh, little boy buried here at this grave, sad. Nicholas, his name is. You can see a photograph of him there, like he was on holiday skiing. Very sad, 1998. Passed away. Wonder what happened there. Rest in peace, Nicholas. Now, we have one over here. Serenity Sue has spotted. Really interesting one. We'll have to look this one up. Dick Rivers, it says on it. Her Herve Farneri. Dick Rivers. There's musical notes on it. And, uh, Looks like he was a singer, like a country singer. And you can see him there on the photo. Look at that with his lovely jewellery rings on. Um, over here then we have a picture of Herve or Dick Rivers, 1945 to 2019. A lovely Cadillac on it. And it looks like to me that he was um, a tribute act, like he could have been something like, you know, Elvis Presley style. Yeah. I see 1945 to 2019. Some cowboy boots and a hat. And in the middle we have like colorful glass there, purple guitar, 
beautiful grave an arrow and it says on it there dream rock connection he was a french singer he was a french singer yeah he was born in nice france 1945 and died in paris 2019 he was part of les chat savages and Le Inferes. we'll have to look those up guys because they're french Musical groups. Super looking grave, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. French singer and actor, yeah. Singer and actor. He was an important figure in introducing rock and roll music in France. And he was an admirer of Elvis Presley, who oh, influenced I that. his looks and his singing. His stage name was Dick Rivers. His stage name was Dick Rivers. Yeah, I thought that Elvis Presley just came into my head straight away. Yeah. When I seen those sideburns and the Cadillac and the whole rock and roll looking style. And you can actually see on his grave here as well, it looks like a highway. Like a road, like highway something highway. like Route 66 maybe. And the highway goes up to the guitar here. A highway to heaven. Nice grave. Rest in peace, Dick Rivers. F. Sauer, 1778 to 1839. Uh, I think he was a composer. You can see his grave here. Amazing. Inside this one here, we have beautiful stained glass. Look at that. Spectacular looking vaults here, family vaults. Amazing. Another one here. Du Chateau family. We have a bust here of one of the family members, I'm presuming. There's actually a hole underneath that there, guys, you can see. Inside under. Beautiful graves, Pascal, lovely photograph on this. A woman waving, holding her little baby and a dog on the beach. Isn't that beautiful? I just found this one here, guys, of... Um, Mutina family and you can see the beautiful stained glass inside but not just the stained glass but look at the photographs inside of the people from way back then there's a vase in there some names I'll try and zoom in and show you there's a better look Look at that. Old black and white porcelain photographs of family members. Beautiful. The old dried flowers and the little pear tar. The old dried out flowers, wreaths, flowers. There's one of those old chairs down in the corner again there. Just see the chair. Hi right, guys, we're good to go again. Very, very warm here. I just stopped for a little water break. Badly needed. 
So we're back up the top here, you know, here in Montmartre, and we're looking for the grave of Dalida. She was born in Cairo, Egypt, to Italian parents. Famous singer and actress. Very well known here in France, Paris. This is Guy Pichal, 1922 to 1989. And the funny thing about this one is, I just noticed this, he has a, he's holding a pipe in his hand. But when you walk sideways with this one, it actually looks like the face and the eyes are following you as you move. Strange. So I think this is her grave up here. So we're just coming up to it now. Stunning grave. I've seen photos of it online. And she died tragically. An overdose. So this is the final resting place here. And it just says on the side of it, Orlando Gigoletti, 1992. Maria Teresa in 2018. So this is Dalida's grave. What a beautiful grave it is. A lot of people visit this grave, leave flowers, as you can see. And the life-size statue of Dalida with a beautiful dress on her. And the sun behind. So her real name was Yolanda Gigoletti, known as Dalida. She passed away on the 3rd of May 1987. Beautiful stained glass there and flowers, tons of flowers left there. See there's those old chairs again, people use for pray and kneel down there. Tons of tours here today, guys. Very, very busy.
So that was the grave back there we saw of Dalida. What a beautiful grave that is. In memory of her and her achievements in life. And of course, Montmartre is not just famous for, you know, notable graves. There's people from all walks of life buried here. Um, not famous people. You don't have to be famous to be buried in here. But um, some beautiful graves. This one is very, very interesting. You can see the head up the top of the person. And down the bottom you can see the feet and the toenails. Look at that. So it looks like actually the person. You can see from the feet and the head and the body is in the middle of that. And it's the same here with this one. And that looks like a child in the middle. And the feet down the bottom. Look at the detail and the stonework in that. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Yes, yeah, so guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Very interesting finds here. Famous people. So thank you for coming along on this video. There will be other videos coming along on this channel from Paris. So make sure to check out. Give the video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. The notification bell will let you know when I release more videos from here in France. So for me here, guys, grave visitations. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you soon.